What's up ladies and gentlemen, this is the Beastly Gamer and uh, today I want to talk to you guys and give you my early, early impressions of Call of Duty Advanced Warfare's multiplayer. Now this game has had a lot of hype around it, there's been a lot of potentially disappointed consumers, people who have been tired of the same old, same old in Call of Duty. And it's understandable, when you, when you go through Call of Duty Modern Warfare 2, 3, Black Ops, Black Ops 2, and, and then Call of Duty Ghosts, and you really don't see any revolution or evolution of the game. It does become redundant, and I understand totally, uh, you know, some of the arguments that have been made about Call of Duty. Let me say this. I am proud to report that Advanced Warfare is different. It has changed Call of Duty, I feel, forever. I don't think they could ever bring another Call of Duty out that plays like Black Ops 2, or plays like Ghost, or plays like Modern Warfare 2 after this game. This game has pushed the envelope, and it has evolved the franchise to a point that I feel like going back would be something that gamers will not want to do. And if you haven't played this game and you're looking at it, I promise you it's just as fun to play as it is to look at. <laughs> this is the most fun I've had in the Call of Duty probably ever. And I put mm, quite a few hours into it on day zero. Uh, me and some of the guys from the Beastly Thoughts crew have gotten together and played and played and, and really dug our nails into it. And I gotta say, this is my favorite Call of Duty experience so far. Now I hear some people saying it doesn't feel like Call of Duty. To me it feels like Call of Duty. It feels like a better Call of Duty. It feels like the best Call of Duty. And there's a few things that have been implemented into this game that have changed the paradigm of what Call of Duty is. And I feel like potentially in the future these aspects of the game have to remain. Because if you just go back and, and, and remove the verticality of this game I think that it'll be an issue with a lot of gamers. Let me say this exosuit. The exosuit that was designed by Sledgehammer that was stolen from the, the creators of the Elysium film is truly a blessing. It's a phenomenon. I love this thing. You can actually add perks to it uh, to increase your health regeneration. You can make yourself cloak. You can make yourself faster. Uh, there's all kinds of things you can actually equip to your exosuit. Not only that, the exosuit gives you this incredible ability to air dodge. You can air strafe. Uh, you're in the air, there's somebody shooting at you, you can strafe backwards, left or right, and, and that adds a whole new paradigm of uh, tacticality. It's a, it's, you have to be a lot more tactical in this game. It's not just straightforward, shoot them, respawn, and repeat. This game has a lot more going for it than any other Call of Duty game. Graphics. Uh, and you guys can see, this game looks it looks insane. Uh, it's the best looking Call of Duty bar none. There's nothing ever even been close to this. It looks phenomenal. The character creation looks insane. The the in-game lobby when you're waiting to join a multiplayer map and you're able to go through uh, each character in the party and look at them and look at all their you know equipment. It looks so real. The, the clothing, the faces, the animation. It looks fucking photorealistic. I'm very very happy with what they've done with this game. They have a PIC-13 system. This 13 system is very similar to the PIC-10 system from Call of Duty Black Ops 2. And I love that. When I was able to pick 10 in Black Ops 2, I was done. I, I, I felt like I had created my own soldier that nobody else is going to have. And uh, I truly felt that way. And uh, with this game, they pushed that envelope even further by giving you three more slots to be able to uh, pick and articulate to your liking. There's so much going on in this game. You get it's, it has RPG elements. You get supply drops randomly throughout multiplayer uh, matches, and these supply drops will give you souped-up versions of weapons that you may or may not already have that have different uh, specifications on them. So each weapon is unique to one another. Uh, you get different skins, all kinds of crazy stuff that they never implemented in a Call of Duty game. It's fast. This does not feel like Call of Duty Ghosts. Call of Duty Ghost felt very, very slow and lethargic. The maps in Call of Duty Ghosts were just spread out over a long landscape. It was like watching the intro to Little House on the Prairie. This game is fast, like Black Ops 2. The characters are going back and forth, strafing. You can move across the map extremely quickly. You know, you can jump on top of every building you see, basically. There are a few campers. But it's a lot harder to camp in this game than I think any of the any of the other Call of Duties because characters are able to move so fast. Uh, I see uh, the skill set 
for this game revolutionizing Call of Duty in general. And the reason I see that is because of this exosuit and the ability to strafe. I think that in six months, when people master the strafing, the videos for this game are going to be insane. I accidentally pulled off a crazy strafe today. I was playing and someone shot me from the back and I strafed around in a total circle. I didn't know how to do it, but I'm going to learn how to do it every time. I strafed around like a half circle and shot them from the side. It was insane. When people learn how to, to uh, master these new skills, this game is going to be the shit. I gotta say, there's a lot of good games out right now. There's Destiny out right now, there's The Evil Within, there's stuff for the Wii U. Everything that's out, I haven't played anything that makes me want to play it like Call of Duty Advanced Warfare. And I got it for the PS3 and for the PS4. If you guys didn't know, if you bought it for the PS4, the Xbox One, it is cross-buy. So if you buy it for any system, you get it for the other. It doesn't matter if you buy it on the old systems first or the new systems first, you get it for both consoles. I think that's a great value, especially for people like myself who have kids and multiple consoles and everybody wants a chance to play this game. This, of course, is the PS4 version of the game. And as you guys can see, it looks phenomenal. It moves phenomenally well. The hit detection was great. I haven't had any issues. I uh, Actually, I had one slight issue where I was disconnected twice. It's happened to me so far. I don't know if it's a network. They're trying to fix bugs or whatever, but it's happened. And I think that's that's a symptom of a, a new game coming out with new uh, network and infrastructure. But other than that, my early impressions are a 10. This is the best first-person shooter I have ever played. So far. Unless the thing breaks itself. You guys let me know what you think about it. I hope you enjoyed the video. Be sure to like the video and show me some support. And if you're new, subscribe to the Beastly Gamer channel. I'm the Beastly Gamer, and I'll see you guys next time.